What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lewis Pike here. And on this channel we talk about all things money, how to make money, pay off debt, and invest your money. So let's jump into the video. Today we're going to talk about how to save $1,000 in 30 days. So let's jump into the video. All right, I'm not gonna start out with just all these frugality tips and just going very extreme and doing things that are very unreasonable, but we are gonna do some things that's going to challenge you and push you to reach this goal. So how to save $1,000 in 30 days. So first thing you wanna do is, is you wanna come up with a goal or why you want to save a thousand dollars in 30 days or what you want to do primarily what you want to do with the money once you save it i mean that could be you know paying off the debt whether you want to take a quick vacation you want to buy a special gift for someone you want to invest that money come up with your reasoning why you want to save i think this is very important because a lot of times when we set a goal or try to achieve something it's best to have a reason behind that goal to give us extra motivation and also to hold us accountable. Speaking of accountability, that's the second thing. You wanna find something that's going to hold you accountable. So maybe challenge uh, your significant other, challenge maybe some friends or family to do this with you. Um, it's a lot easier to have accountability when you're doing these type of things. I know specifically when I was paying off my debt, start this YouTube channel and creating a community and following other people who were going through the same thing allowed me to stay motivated and it also gave me that accountability uh, to pay off my debt. So you wanna have accountability. All right, so this is the first thing we're gonna do. Um, and this is probably the easiest thing that you can do is, and these are things that you should be doing on a monthly basis. Um, if not monthly, at least you should be doing these things quarterly. Uh, with your budget. So first thing you want to do is just go through and cut any unused subscriptions that you're using. Um, so if you have any subscriptions to maybe the gym, any subscriptions to maybe Spotify, Disney Plus, I don't know, so many of them now. It seems like everyone is offering a some type of monthly subscription service. So go through and just review, you know, what systems or subscriptions that you're using that you haven't used in a while. I know I recently did this a while back with uh, my business. Um, I had a lot of systems and tools that I was that I had purchased at some point, and at some point I thought that, hey, this was something that could be of use, and um, turns out a lot of things were just sitting there. So I ended up cutting about five to $600 right there of just systems and stuff and tools that I thought I needed all the fancy bells and whistles, and I actually didn't need. Same thing, I had a few subscriptions that I had set up for shows just for a period of time. I didn't set a reminder to go in and cancel it once the show is over, or just wasn't thinking about it when I signed up for it. So cancel that because I'm no, I no longer need that subscription. So start there with any subscriptions that you're using. Um, go ahead and cut those. I mean, I, like I said, for me, this was about five to six hundred, maybe around a hundred to two hundred for you, or maybe fifty to a hundred uh, with that range. But anyway, that is a start because that's money that you can take and start saving towards the thousand dollars instead of going to a service or a subscription that you aren't using. The quickest way to do this is log into your bank account or your credit card statement, uh, wherever you have these subscriptions at. For me, I always, I had them all on one specific business credit card uh, that I paid monthly, uh, but it was the quickest way for me to go through and see all of these subscriptions. So um, check your cell phone bill, check your insurance bill, uh, check your cable bill, items like that as well. Uh, go ahead and check those subscriptions as well. Just look at anything that's coming out of your account monthly um, and just go through and you can use a, you know, pretty simple process of, of yes and no questions that you can ask yourself. If, it, if it's something that you're using, uh, yes or no. Um, even if you're using it, if it's something that's bringing you value, yes or no. Um, if you're checking no on any of these things, then make it really simple and go ahead and cancel those items. Another way where you can easily get back another 80 to $100 is your cable bill. Cut the cable bill. now. If you're saying to yourself like you enjoy cable and having cable and staying at home um, saves you more money than going out and spending money with friends or whatever, you just enjoy cable, you're a homebody. I know me naturally, sometimes I can be a homebody. If that's non-negotiable, then just skip this step altogether. But if not, look into calling and counseling your cable bill. Even if you don't counsel it, go look at the channel lineup and the plan that you're on because I know most cable plans have you know, three to four tiers that you can be on. If you're on the highest and you're not using half of those channels, maybe look at going down to a lower tier 
or if you're just not using them completely, go ahead and cancel them. Nowadays, there's other options out there that is cheaper than uh, what cable is charging. You can use things like Hulu Plus. Um, I know YouTube TV is another one. PlayStation View, but I think they canceled it. So, But those are a few uh, subscription services that you can use um, instead of cable. But if you're not watching TV altogether, then just slash it. If you're just cool with something like paying you know, seven to 10 bucks for Netflix, fine, just keep that or you know paying the same amount for hulu just keep that but cancel the cable bill if you have um if that's costing you anywhere between 80 to 100 bucks a month go ahead and cancel it or just call them and if you want to keep it still if you want to keep it call and negotiate because most of the time they will um call and they will negotiate with you if you call in and you speak to a representative and the representative don't want to you know cancel the bill can always do the script of you know asking to speak to their supervisor. Um, in most cases, they're probably gonna send you to the retention department. The retention department. Basically, this is the department. The rep is gonna be tough, they're gonna play hard, they're not gonna wanna counsel you, but the retention department, their whole goal is to retain you. So, they're going to basically give whatever you want that's within reason. Um, to solve your problem and make sure they keep you on as a customer and keep you happy because like you know most of these comp because for most of these companies it's a lot harder to for, and like for most of these in the case for most of these companies it's a lot easier to retain a customer than it is to get a customer so they're gonna do their best to try to retain you next thing you're gonna do is is you're going to look at your car insurance um, I would go through and I would get quotes on you know the top five insurance companies out there and just see what the rates are if you haven't especially if you haven't done this in a while go ahead and get a comparative rate um, it's really easy to go it takes about 10 to 15 minutes uh, to go through probably the top five insurance carriers um, and get your insurance rates I know I typically do this every um, at least twice a year because I'm on every six months and my cycle renews so I always go out and make sure that I'm getting the best rates and the best deal for insurance so I would check there again that could save you anywhere uh, between you know a hundred to hundred fifty dollars to two hundred dollars a month depending on what your insurance costs are could save you um, a lot of money a month uh, to help get towards that a thousand dollars that's saved up in 30 days Next thing you can do is if you have any cash back reward points. So a lot of companies nowadays offer cash back and offer cash back rewards. So I um, have the Apple credit card and I have been using it for about you know five or six months and they give back daily cash every day. And I just neglected to go check out the daily cash in there because it was just going into a different um, just a different wallet on my phone and I go check and it turns out I had about $400 just sitting there uh, in daily cash. So what I do, I just transfer that money over to my checking account. Again, that's $400 that I didn't have unexpectedly. So if you have this with credit cards, um, you can do the same thing as well. I have American Express, but this is the kicker with American Express. The reason I don't transfer it, they don't let you transfer points into money, but some, a lot of other credit cards do allow you to transfer points over into money. So if you have points build up, go ahead and check all your credit cards and transfer all those points over. Um, now, warning, if you have American Express, I wouldn't because this is the kicker with them. If you transfer the points to pay your bill, it's not gonna stretch as far as if you were to use that to buy um, travel tickets or buy airline tickets. So always use those American Express points to buy airline tickets because that's where you can get the most bang for your buck. So if you have those points, just leave them there. When you get ready to buy um, a ticket or get ready to travel, use those points. I've done it for the last two years and have paid for my vacation. So at least the traveling part of it. And I've took several international trips, although Probably not taking any international trips this year. Probably go to Canada, um, but that's beside the point. All right, so let's jump on to the next step. So those are some quick tips and steps that you can do in order to save a thousand dollars in a month. I'm um, also, I mean, obviously there's some things outside of the things that I listed. You can always ask for a raise. That will help as well. It's always the quickest way. Uh, of course, you can get some side hustles as well to order to bring in some additional income. I've done several videos on those. I'll link those videos up 
as well. Uh, you could do some things too to help save and cut down on spending money and save more money is to go to, um, you know, just spending cash only for, you know, a month. Do that for a month and, you know, do the envelope system. That could be another way um, where you could save money and not spend as much um, because regardless of how disciplined and how good you are with credit cards, it's still a lot easier to swipe those credit cards than it is to uh, spend money on cash. Anyway, if you guys want more tips and um, just a full list breakdown of how you can save more money and some tips to save $1,000 in 30 days, I'm going to drop a free download in the description down below with just a whole list, a PDF of just some ways where you can bring in some additional income and some money saving tips. Um, to help you save money. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have not liked, subscribe to the channel, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below. It really helps uh, to get this video out there and help to get it in front of more viewers. So I'll see you all on the next video. Have a good one.